Labda kuna kitu fulani ulichukua kwa deni pia. Hiyo pia itaongezeka. Maana yake ukienda kuaccess bank yako imefungwa kuna pesa. Madeni zitaongezeka wapenzi. Tukipenda watu tuambieni tu watu kweli jamani kama mtu amekukosea as much as we love you. What happened with the world? I am sorry. Hmm? What happened to that? What happened to the world? I am sorry. Hmm? Mimi sitaki marafiki kama nyinyi, kama marafiki nyinyi wa TikTok, sitaki marafiki kama nyinyi. Mwataka tiki la kati nione kati mimi niko tu mkali hata siogo siogo kwepi yani hakuna mtu ambaye ananitisha lakini maisha ni mwangu mimi nabaki kwa hotness sitaki finance armed is not a joke Mimi wapenzi mara yangu kufanya kazi hapa Ulaya nilikuja nikapata fine na finance armed waliniambia nilipe 1800 kisa na maana nilipoanza kazi nilitumana contract yangu ya kazi kuchelewa nilikuwa nafanya anze kazi tarehe tatu mimi nikaanza kazi tarehe tatu, nikaja nikatuma na contract yangu kwa nini kwa unaitwa nani wale wale agent wa for arbit nikawatumia tarehe sita, three days after kufanya kazi wakaniambia niwarudishie pesa yao wakatusa ndio it was my first job na imagine penzi ndio kazi yangu ya kwanza mimi hata sijui vile mambo yatafanyika ujerumani ndio ilikuwa it was my first time to find a job in germany like ile sasa kwa ile ndio naingia kwa ile field eh ile 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 atmosphere ile kufanya kazi ya Ujerumani ndio ile sasa ndo najiingiza sasa ndo nijue zile ethics and the, the do's and the don'ts unajua mm? kumbe ukipata kazi kabla uanze hiyo kazi hata kama utatuma na hiyo contract kuchelewa you are not, you are supposed to inform the ninyo for about at a job center mpenzi nilipata fine na af, nina finance amt na nikapata fine na job center mpo job center nilipata fine ya 800 finance amt nikapata fine ya pesa ngapi 1100 ngapi 800 Alafu akatua alikuwa na uzawe strainer. Wewe strainer pia nikaenda nikashtakiwa. Na uzawe strainer fanya business online na sijalipa silipi tax. Paka nikaulizwa. Upo. Hiyo ya US strainer nilisamewa. Nilisema si business ya kwangu. Paka wa leo ninyo PayPal yangu ifungwa. Maana kwa wale ambao wananikumbuka wakati wa Instagram nilikuwa na uzawe strainer. Wapenzi nilikuwa napata tu shilingi 20. Shilingi 20 tu faida shilingi 20. Kuna wakati watu walikuwa na order paka kutoka Norway na watu wa Norway wakinunua kutoka akinua kutoka nchi mbali inabidi uongeze bei kidogo jundo akalao hata ile sending fee ubaki na kitu mdomoni lakini bado nilishtakiwa na ile nishtaki namjua na wala sijai mtaja maana nishtaki ni uishi Berlin na alinunua western ngapi tano kutoka kwangu na furaha jamani eh Nani huyu ambaye nina western tano zote jamani usi amenipenda jamani yuaninua kumbe ilikuwa ni mtego Alinua tano wakati mmoja kumbe ilikuwa ni mtego Nikiana na kumbe na jina lake hivi nilishtuka sikuuliza paka wale ulinyamaza Niseme nini nilinyamaza mpenzi Mhm Nilinyamaza Sasa ndo nawaambia wapenzi wakati mwingine tujifunzeni kunyamaza Sisi sote ambao watuona hapa kwa TikTok sote tuko na mambo yetu ambayo tunafanya hapa nje ambayo tutakijulikana kwa social media Hmm? Wewe kitu kidogo tu ushakimbia kwa social media na tayari ushajua kuna watu wanakuandama, wanakuangalia kila mahali chochote ambacho unachokifanya ndio waje wakuharibie. Huwezi jifunza kunyamaza. Hmm? Huwezi jifunza kunyamaza. What happened with doing things nini chini ya maji? Hmm? What happened? Alafu nyinyi ndio mwajifanya marafiki, ati oh tutakupenda bure. Oh sijui sijui ni timu nini, sijui ni timu nini. Kama mnapenda mtu mwambie ni mtu ukweli. Mwambie ni mtu ukweli. Kama unapenda mtu, ambie ni mtu ukweli, si kila jambo lolote la fali semos kwa social media. Hmm? Na kama mtu ni mbaya pia mtu ni mbaya. Mtu akifanya jambo baya pia mwambie ni kuna wakati mwingine wapenzi maisha yetu tutakuwa tuko tu kwa shida kila wakati maisha yetu tujochote chochote tunajaribu kuchokifanya akifaulu kulingana na matendo yetu na machozi ambayo tumefanya watu wamelia Be, miaka iliyopita na mbeleni tusidanganyane because the universe will always give you back what you give Mm? The universe will always give you wacha niambie na penzi hii dunia sasa if you want to succeed achana na watu stop hurting people wakina mugabe how did they end they were very powerful people how did they end ni mugabe ama si musaveni mugabe how did they, how did it end and then pia ukikuwa na marafiki look at 
at your circle. Look at the people who surround you. Hmm? Look at the people who surround you. Is there something about their life do you admire? Eh? Their lifestyle. Do you admire their lifestyle? Eh? Angalia marafiki ambao unaita mabestes, ambao unaweka karibu na wewe. Is there something they're doing in their life and you say like me I want to be like that? Or whatever this friend has achieved, I want also to achieve it. Ama ni watu ambao kuchini yako ni njaa tu. They are just using you so that they waka or upate kitu ya kukula. Eh? They just coming to support you just because wanajua nikikuja kwa platform yako nitatoka tena kitu mbili tatu nne eh? Or are there people you say like me I want to be like these people. Or I want to achieve like you know yeah, like you, you, you aspire even if they are, even if maybe they're the ones aspiring to have to achieve something like yours. What pensi? Tunaweza kuwa hata na 1 million views. Tunaweza kuwa hata na nini? Tunaweza tunaweza kuwa hata na gifters kama wote. But the most important thing in this planet my dear you can have everything but if you don't have peace if you don't have peace and if you are someone wewe kama ni mtu ambaye even your friends can call you out your friends can correct you there is something wrong with you kama wewe ni mtu ambaye rafiki zako wakijaribu tu kukwambia hapo unifanya vibaya ama hapo unaenda vibaya urekebisha let's do this uko tu na watu ambao wanaogopa kukwambia ukweli wanajua ukwambia ukweli utawatukana ama utawanika ama you are going to mobilize people waje waje wamshambulie then there's something wrong with you there's nothing which akuna kitu bit that change about you it will always be just it will always be the same same story same same music tune same same thing good friends are friends i'll tell you my dear this area you went a little bit far this area ulenda vibaya hii mambo ya kwambia watu sio mimi nakupenda bure nakupenda bure mpenzi the only person who will love you is yourself is yourself because you've always been there for yourself you've always been there for yourself and you always be there for yourself mtu ambaye aache familia yake huko yote akupaka na watoto eh aje akwambie yeye akupenda bure yeye akupenda bure kama nani hmm? people will say anything on social media just to be seen that they are associating with you just to be seen that they are with you people will say anything anything kuna mwingine ndio alisema yeye ako tayari pakata uze shamba yake ili akusaidie huyo rafiki yake kana pitia shida people will talk is cheap kumbukeni wazungu walisema talk is cheap people can say anything anything but ikifika wakati wa kutake action or to keep to keep their words watapotea wata, wata mitini watu wa tiktok mkuweni watu wazuri Mukuweni watu wazuri. Hii mambo ya kuona mtu tayari maisha yanasambaritika. I wish you people uh, na waomba tu muone mka Google, Google Finance Act. Ikifika paka mahali serikali inataka kufungia nini hiyo? It is not a joke. It is not a joke. Nimeona watu wengi wakifungua life wakiongea ku sweet topic nina 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 nini but no one is willing to speak the truth. No one is willing to say things the way they are then you don't love this person you don't love this person niko na rafiki yangu bwanake alikuja akakufa na bwanake alikuwa anadaiwa finance amt ilimpeleka mbio ikamwambia uza hiyo nyumba utulipe deni letu mpo uza hiyo nyumba utulipe deni yetu na ukishindwa kulipa jela mpenzi ufungiwe account you can't pay any bills of yours watu watakuwa na kutumia hizo kampuni zitakuwa zinakutumia bills 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 upeleke kwa Encaso Encaso na pia ushindwe kulipa huko haya utapelekwa kwa shufa shufa unakuwa blacklisted alafu ukipata kampuni kampuni za basic peti wanakupeleka koti unajua hata kutolipa ticket ya ninyo train ticket ukishikwa za in three months ukishikwa mara tatu unaitwa kwa koti mnajua hilo ama mjui kwa wale ambao Jerumani Hmm? Ata i train ticket ukishikwa mara tatu mfululizo ina month eh unaitwa kutini hiyo umeitwa mara ya kwanza alafu unajua uitwe kutini mara ya pili 
Mimi historia, mimi kusema kweli historia watu ambao sijui watu na Diana wapenzi. There's no need to fight. These things are simple. Nimekuwa nikiangalia hizo vitu. Kama kuna mtu fulani analalamika kuwa alinipatia pesa nataka pesa yake. We don't need to finish these things in court. It's simple. Kama mnapenda huo mtu ufanyeni mchango, huyo ambaye anasema anataka pesa yake arudishiwe. Arudishiwe. Kama ma celebrity wakubwa kama una, kama wakina PDD alikuja ka, she, he was accused. Eh? PDD the next time alenda kakutana na huo 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 msichana ex wake. Waka clear things haraka haraka ndio isiende kotini. Wewe ni nani? Hata hakuna haja ya kwenda kumtukana yule mwanamke ambaye anasema nataka pesa zake. Because you people you are making this thing worse. The only way ni kuleta tu mapatano. That is the only way. Unasema sawa. Sisi tulidhania hivi na hivi na hivi. But kuna wengine wenu mnataka kama jana mnataka mnaitana group mnaleta huyo mwanamke mkuje wote pamoja muanze kumtukana ndio watu wengine waatumie gift. Yeah, like you're using someone mystery for your own ben- for, for you guys your own benefits. Venye mko mkifanya le DJ. Mnaleta DJ in one platform alafu wote mnakuja mna gang up so that uh, watu wa, watu waanze kuatumia gifts. Mm? So that is what he ndio kitu mko mko atafanya pia jana niliona kwa, kwa life moja hapo. Eh? Mkipenda mtu you guys you should always try to look for a solution. You should always try to look for a solution. Like whatever is happening now, Miss Juvili na Vendi, like kama ni ukweli these people wanapelekana kotini. You guys you need to find a solution. Kama huyu mtu anataka like try to meet to mkutane mahali, mweke masikizano, unataka nini? What should I do to make you stop? Or should I keep on, keep on? Because the same same person can't have so much stress or so much cases. Uku na uku mtu anakufungulia makesi, mungina anakufungulia makesi. It's too much. It's too much. Because na ikifika maali, unafika kwa court, kwa judge. And then judge pia naona badu nyingine pia nakuja. It may not end well. It may not end well. Watu ambiani ukweli, it may not end well. And then to going back to Boscan. Boscan, mimi sina ubaya na wewe. But me the only thing I'll tell you. Kuna wakati ulikuja ukakuwa unagombana na yule mwanamke kutoka US, yule naisikia anaitwa Deputy Jesus. Sina lawyer, Deputy Jesus. Ukachukua picha mtoto wake, ukaeka hapo juu, ukaanza kutukana paka mtoto wake. Paka unasema mtoto wake hana shingo kama yeye. Boscan unafanya kazi na handicap disabled kids uko US and you are you are doing you are doing, you're working with vulnerable kids and then unachukua ni watoto unakuja unaanika hapo unaanza kutukana watoto wa watu watu waambiani tu kweli and then watu wa UK wa, wa, watu wa comment section wanakugasap yes do this do this yes yes boss can my dear hiyo yako it won't end well you may even lose your job because of the stupid thing you did hata fadhali utukane tu mtu mtoto wake lakini usilete picha ya mtoto wake kwa kaapo. Usilete picha mtoto wake kaapo. Kuna mambo na children's. Mtoto wa watu sahi. <laughs> Unaweza ika picha mtoto mtu 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 hapo. Mama yake akisema mtoto wake akona suicidal thoughts. Mama yake akisema mtoto wake akona suicidal thoughts, mtoto wake haizi lala, mtoto wake anataka kujua mtu wake amekuwa bullied amekuwa bullied na andike zote zote alipaka kwa hospitali something you need to know just because someone someone lives in the US and you live in UK if they want to get to you they'll get to you but can the worst the, the mistake ulifanya ni kuwa you know ati ni rafiki yake Diana na ati anaishi US anaishi UK if there's any information one of them will need they will help each other na kwa ukijua kuna children's right in uk and children's right in uk and anything and tiktok also protects kids so mimi kama ni wewe if i want to charaza mtu i'll just stick to that person wapenzi what happen hata kama tupendi mtu what happen to humanity paka tunaenda chukua picha ya mtoto wa mimi sina mtoto sijaza wala sipangi kuzaa 
but how will you feel mtu anaenda kuchukua picha mtoto wako anakuja na kutuka anaeka kwa screen yake alafu anaanza kutukania mtoto wako and then you talk in section mko hapo mnafurahia eh mnashangilia mnacheka you are very happy someone's son being dragged akitukanwa eh hata sio tu ametuchosha nina nini ni sawa but still do you think that person hata we boss can vomaliza your life unvofunga nino yako hivi hata nakwambia oh uliwaweza uliwaweza boss can there's nothing you, you, you didn't win anything there hata ukuje social media ukuje kucharaze mtu ume, umevaa mask on your face ukienda kwa court the account is still yours the voice is still yours so if this omba tu mama uki jana sikuchukulie action omba tu mama uki jana sikuchukulie action wewe ukiona umeshambulia mtu and this person is quiet because most of the time they always fight you back but they are very quiet they don't even like they don't even address the matter then you know you're in danger it may take a while but you're in danger watu wamejuaje kama unafanya kazi ni nio watu wamejuaje kama una hmm? kama unafanya kazi kwa kwa children's unafanya kazi na handicap unafanya kazi with vulnerable people but your language is very abusive eh very abusive alafu wanawake pia mko hapo wanawake wenzenu wanakuwa disrespected wanatukanwa wapenzi mimi nimekuta nikichamba watu mimi sichambi watu ile hiyo design hiyo design paka yani mnatukana mtu paka with their body how they look eh hey and it tukapo tunashangilia charaza charaza umbo ametuchosha nina nini eh ati ni mbea sana sote wa mbea kama tuko hapa tiktok we are all wa mbea Mm, sote ni wambea. Mm? Mimi kitu ambacho nimekuja nikaa nani? Mimi sisikizaki comment section. That's why I don't even read comment section. I don't read comment section. I don't read comment section because I know comment section people will mislead you. They'll give you a courage. They'll make you think that you are above the law. But when the law ikaanza kukufata. He Eh hey, mimi sina shida na deputy Jesus sina shida I'm not defending anyone but I'm just saying things kama you want to deal with deputy Jesus just deal with her but kuleta picha za watoto ingekuwa ni picha ya mtoto mwingine mngekuwa mko kwa social media mapija kelele ingekuwa ni picha ingekuwa ni picha ya mtoto wa your favorite let me use the word the favorite mngekuwa mko kwa social media mapija kelele oh it's bad yezekani si ni vibaya si vizuri si ni nini nini but since most of you most of you mko na double standards eh Mko na double standards wapenzi ingekuwa ni mtoto wa mtu mwingine mngekuwa mmefanya campaign hapa kwa social media mmefungua ma platform mkilalamika m hmm? mkilalamika mkilalamika mmefungua ma platform eh mwajifanya sasa ndio mmekuwa human rights defenders but because si mtoto wa mtu is not, not the child of your, your, your favorite hata ni kabla like you, you never even saw that m hmm? a kid doesn't have to be your child for you to speak up You don't be you have to be your, your biological you don't have to be a biological parent for you to speak up. Hmm? It doesn't matter what someone has done but ikifika kwa watoto mna 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 mtoto wake amefanya nini? Because to this world to each is its own. Whatever her mom did or she's doing on TikTok has nothing to do with the son. Hmm? Thank you Vera has nothing to do with the sun. Maybe that the sun at Ajima make akiwa akiwa TikTok huko kwa violence. Maybe the sun doesn't even know. And then also kulingana na career ya Boscan his career doesn't even allow him to do what he did with the picture of the child to apezi. He's not a hapa tuangalie who is right or wrong. Cut. Hey thank you so much for the teddy bear. Hapa hmm? tuangalie who is right who did wrong or who did right. What we are checking here is Ninio is what was can did and his career his profession let me say i don't know if i should call it career because when i get sick my is omea his profession your professionalism doesn't allow you to do something like that about a child you can charge someone as much as you want 
You can do whatever you want to do about you. like you can say whatever you want to say but kuchukua picha ya mtoto ya mtu pako anakuja anaombea na shingo kama mamake that is bullying and a minor imagine how do you feel you yourself bullying a child someone below 18 mtoto mdogo how wacha wape nyingi wape nyinyi wote tiktok nyinyi kuna vitu nyingi mnasema hapa tiktok you get away with it if you are a parent and you are here you are listening to me no matter how much someone you may, may disagree with someone waende wachukue picha mtoto wako ambaye ni mdogo wewe unadhani tena mama mtoto atalezaje mtoto wake hadi this person will say this and this and this about you hm mtoto anaweza na wewe ni nani where are they why is he talking about like i even apparently you, you can't even show your kids those nani yo hm alafu mko hapa you are trying to justify someone's behavior oh because of her mom behavior it doesn't matter mama it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the mom did or what the mom is she's doing ikifika upande wa watoto we draw the line ikifika upande wa watoto we draw the line but nyinyi ni wakina nani wapenzi nyinyi mnataka violence mnataka entertainment mnataka 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 tu kama ni, ni mtoto wa favorite eh, kama ni mtuambia watu ambao mnamsupport then it is wrong kama ni mtu ambaye mnamchukia mnasema it's not wrong it's okay ndo maana wengine wenu mtazidi kila wakati mko tu na mashida kila wakati maisha hayaendei because hamtaki kwa mimi sitaki mimi nimesema tangu zahara nimesema sitaki marafiki kama nyinyi sitaki Sitaki marafiki kama nyinyi. Kama marafiki ndo nyinyi, sitaki. Hata marafiki nini hata ikifika mali mko tu na nini mko na double standards. Mwataka tu mniambie kitu bila nataka nisikie mimi sitaki. Kaeni heri ni kai bila rafiki. Heri ni kai bila rafiki. Sitaki marafiki ambao atanipoteza. Zahara umepotea mpenzi? Hmm? Eh hey, black black ngo ah. Uh, black sun. Yeah, Jimmy menikubali mpenzi. I'm always busy doing my my own things. Sinanga maneno na watu niko tu hapa na I'm just talking generally. Mtu akijishuku ni yeye. Ukijishuku ni wewe. Sijaje jina la mtu. <laughs> Ukijishuku ni wewe. Hmm? Kama marafiki wa TikTok ni hawa. Ah, ikae. Kwanza na rafiki wa TikTok za watu wakurekodiana. Hmm? Hmm? Watu watu wakurekodiana wapenzi. Wani wa rekodio jamani wa rekodio wa rekodio watu wata mtu ajoko sana na tarudi ukipiga simu ndio kurekodi. Mm? Wao ungetuna mtu kijana akaambia kumbe huko wa rekodiwa. Mkija kukosana ndi record ya tolo sio ya mwaka gani? Sio mwezi gani sio ya gani sio kuongea na mimi kwa simu sio ulisema ipi na hivyo kwa ogopa TikTok. Ogopa. Mm? So wapenzi tuambiane tu kweli wapenzi tujifunzeni kutosema mambo mengi kutuhusu kwa social media tujifunzeni kunyamaza tujifunzeni kisi kila wakati tukipokuwa mafanikio tushakimbia kwa social media maana si kila mtu ambaye tutakia mema si kila mtu ambaye tuombea mema thank you sahara si kila mtu ambaye tuombea mema tumeshayaona hapa tumeona tumeona venye watu wanatendeana hmm? Na pia wapenzi we also need to learn on how to be accountable accountable for our own action. Aita kwa tu kila wakati tunakuja kwa social media tunalia na nani amenifanya hivi amenifanya amenifanya hivi. Wewe nini ambayo unachofanya kwa maisha ni mwako ambapo watu wanakufanya matendo? Hmm? You can't always be right. No one is always right. You also need to check your behavior. You also need to check your behavior. Aita kwa tu kila wakati you are always the victim. Wewe tu ndo wewe tu ndo unakosewa wewe tu ndo unaona uko na wivu wewe tu ndo yani kila mtu anakuonea uko na wivu wewe ni wewe ndo kila siku watu wanakuonea eh no it doesn't work that way hmm? you also need to check yourself if victim mentality kila wakati watu people just want sympathy sympathy it doesn't work that way if you want to be honest to yourself you tell you, you be honest to yourself you say okay this time i messed up maybe i overshared information about myself so these people knew where to attack me hmm but i talk to kila wakati wewe ndo nani mimi sio na hivyo mimi even hata mimi kuna kata hata boss wangu anazafanya kitu akanikosea na ataniangalia hata nitafuta atambia chukua i'm so sorry last time i think i overreacted or what i did was wrong 
na wewe ni boss aliyokupatia kazi mm? lakini nyinyi ni nani mm? nyinyi ndio mwajua kila kitu you are never wrong anything which happens to you ni watu tu wanawaonea watu watu wanaonea uivu eh watu wajifunze kunyamaza It's always good maybe share something if you have accomplished it. Ukisha accomplish. Mm? Ukisha accomplish. Kama uja accomplish je kitu mwenye paka siku ambapo utafaulu. Mm? And it's always good to be yeah, to hold yourself accountable. It shows how mature you are. Hata saka wakati mwingine ukienda kwa office hata ukienda mbele ya judge umefanya kitu and you know that the the evidence then the evidence are so strong. Unajua? Ukisema yes judge I did that or I said that. Mm? Nilifanya hivyo na nikatenda nika hivyo. Mm? And it was not my intention it was it just happened and I apologize mpenzi. Hata kama utapa hata kama utapatwa sentence their sentence will be lesser. Then mtu ambaye anakuja na jeuri mimi au nishtui sijui nini nini ni sijui terme ruguo nina nina nini. Yaani mmekuja mka normalize hizi matusi kwa social media ni kambe ni salamu. And you people think those are you think those are beautiful words to say. Hmm? You think those are beautiful words to say. What are kutua many tu au nini? Hmm? Olundmeru. Mna jamaa na Olundmeru. Olundmeru na maisha mkundu wa mamako. Eh? Olundi na maisha mkundu wako. Imagine. TikTok imenomolazizo matusi ni kama salamu. Hmm? Hmm? So wapenzi, me all I can say ni kuwa mimi sina ubaya na mtu. Mimi I'm just speaking in general na nasema kama tunapendana sisi kama wa Kenya if you really want to help a sister who is maybe saying that they have a trouble Maybe also we should also tell them also maybe they should learn on how not to share everything about their life or what what is happening about their life. Watu kama kina JB na kina Pesh. It was very simple for me. Sikwa ninawajua wao na mama. They are the ones who knew me. Walifungua tu TikTok wakaanza kunitukana out of nowhere. Wakanitusi waka, kuna those time walikesha usiku mzima wakinitusi and I don't know them. It was simple. I took my phone nikaenda nika click block nikaenda kwa JB nika click block and I kept I kept on moving because I know the last time I was in front of a judge the judge told me don't let your community unasikia mnasikia maneno ya judge don't let your community lead you to such kind of messes don't let your community make you do some stupid stuff or say some stupid stuff which is going to cost you money and cost you to ikwaribie jina that is what the judge told me if someone bring you stress on social media and you don't know them just block them and always remember you don't have to respond to everyone that's why you kenda kwa police you kenda kwa police complain about someone the first thing police ata kwambia block them That is the first thing to talk about block them. Hata wakina wakina nani wakina sijui JB it was so easy. Wakina JB you people gave them power, you give them energy. It was so easy for to defeat these women. It was just to give them black out. Block them. Don't check them. Mna just to block. Wataongea, watasema, watasema watanyamaza. But nyinyi ni wakina nani? Muliko you, you wanted to go back and forth with them say you mashindano ya mdomo eh mashindano ya mdomo mashindano so you give them energy you are giving them more content sometimes it's good to be quiet mimi that's how i work with the mimi even the lock na kina jb hata niliwaambia sayata even like if that is how i work with them i say i don't have time for them whatever they say about me is true if it makes them happy it's true if they say me is being nini nini nakamba Mama, it's true. It's all true. There's nothing I'm coming I'm coming to deny in this TikTok. 
na narudia tena anything which someone says about me whether be it is good or bad mama it is true Choko ni mwizi yes it's true mimi ni mwizi Choko ni nini sio choko sio ni mkimbizi yes ni mkimbizi it's true Choko anaishi nyumba ya sijui nini ambaye yeah, it's true at least i have a roof over my head it's true there's nothing I'm, they, like in Beyonce words Beyonce alienda kwa interview kwamba i have nothing to prove to anyone i have nothing to prove to anyone Mpezi, mara mara za shoko siri ya kuslim ni nini? Siri ya kuslim ni kumind your business. Uachane na watu. <laughs> Mpezi, siri ya kuslim ni kumind your business. Mpezi, siri ya kuslim ni kumind your business mama. Me have always been doing me. Nimekuwa nikifanya driving kesho niko na mtihani. Niko na mtihani. <laughs> Kwa hiyo ndio mkona vacho kwa hiyo utakuwa kundi jehanamu. Nikaza mpenzi hakuna shida. Bora tutabora nitakuunguza. <laughs> I'll be very happy knowing that mimi kuni na kuunguza wewe. <laughs> Nitakuunguza kisawa kwanza ndaza tuna mkundu wako. Huko ndo napeleka the all energy. 